In a previous video, I talked about the fact that if a bad guy got a hold of your computer or your device, that they could bypass your most strongest password, and that's true. Encryption is a way for us to make it a little bit harder, if not impossible, for those bad guys to access the data once they got access to your computer. Think of encryption as kind of a jigsaw puzzle. What happens here is you create this mathematical algorithm that's tied to a password, and it will create this huge jigsaw puzzle out of your data. Now, if you've ever done jigsaw puzzles, you know you need the, the box itself to understand what the picture is going to be. Well, the picture on the box is your passcode, and the puzzle pieces all thrown around is your data being encrypted. And so if somebody doesn't have the puzzle box to know what the puzzle is supposed to look like, they can't put the pieces together. And so encryption allows us to scramble our data. So if a bad guy got a hold of our computer and even reset our password, they still couldn't see what was on your hard drive. It would just look like random numbers and they couldn't make sense out of the information. So encryption does this. It adds one more layer of protection to protect our data. And if you are on a PC, a Windows computer, it has built-in encryption. So let me show you how to do that. First, you're going to right-click on any folder. Now, right-click, if you look at your mouse button, you've got a left-click and a right-click. This is your left-click, which is you're probably used to. You want to right-click on your folder. It's going to bring up a menu. You want to go to Properties. Then you want to go to the General tab. Then you're going to want to click on Advanced. And there you're going to see encrypt contents to secure data. Check the box, click OK, and then click OK again. And this will encrypt the data. Now, word of caution here. If you have to have somebody reset your password the hard way, you will not be able to access the information on that drive. The encryption information is tied to your username and your password. Now, even if you recreate the username, it's still not the exact same username. There's a whole bunch of math that goes on behind the scenes. So each username, even if you call it the exact same name, is not the same thing to the computer. So encrypt your data, but also be aware of that little issue. On a Mac, here's how you do that. You go up to the left part of your Mac, you click on that little Apple there, and you click on System Preferences. Once system preferences come up, you then click on security and privacy. Now keep in mind, depending on what version of Windows you have or which version of Mac, uh, Mac OS you have, it might be slightly different, but in general, this is where you find them. And then you click on Fire Vault and you can encrypt the data on your hard drive. And again, it's tied into your username and password. The other thing that I want to talk about with encryption is your cell phone, your smartphone. If any device is most likely going to get lost or wind up in bad people's hands, it's going to be your smartphone. In fact, I'm a K-12 teacher by day, and I can't tell you how many students are constantly losing their smartphone. And if you think about it, as adults, you know, I have banking information on here. I have contact information on here. I have information on here that is priceless to me where if the bad guys got a hold of it, I could be in trouble, right? I don't want them accessing my PayPal account or my banking account. And so I want to encrypt the data on my phone as well. And all main major smartphones have the option. So for example, on the Droid, I'm showing you a screen capture on here. This is how I can encrypt the data on my phone. One of the problems I discovered doing this was if you do real-time encryption on your phone, meaning encrypts as you in, bring in new information, it does have a problem when you snap pictures. It doesn't completely, the pictures don't always come in very well. All right, so in the next video, we're going to talk about how to destroy your data.